MJD. MJD, let me tell you, I thought, what am I going to get MJD for his birthday? Oh, my goodness. No. <laughs> no, Fred Taylor. But uh, seriously, uh, you know I love you. You know how I feel about you. Happy birthday. And uh, your gang was up to this, and uh, they kept you in the dark. I want to know, man. I brought out the <laughs> ring light for you, baby. I just got a ring light, brand new ring Ooh. light I'm trying out. So only for you, man. <laughs> <laughs> hey, listen, Fred. They don't. They don't know. You know, I, I I remember Fred before all the media stuff. Now he's a media mogul. You know, I have oh, a ring light as well. Out. Come on, man. Bro, listen. I, I just want to know when can I get on the pivot? I want. I don't. You know, I don't want to be like AB and put the mask on. I just want to sit back and chill. Maybe have some cognac or something and kick back. You know what I mean? Talk, you can reminisce, have, tell stories. Def- you know, whatever it is, I got your birthday bottle on deck. Uh, you know, our schedules mm. didn't allow us to uh, cross paths when you were just recently here in South Florida. But uh, we'll we'll get it lined up, certainly. We'd love to have you on the show. I Fred, you just, you just heard MJD talking about being together that, uh, that rookie season. What do you remember most about uh, the young version of our friend who's not so young anymore, MJD? Yeah. You know, well, he just said he ran a 4-3. Coming out of college, uh, one, he was number 21. I was 21 in college. So I was like, all right, that just made us close automatically because he knew what number to get. But uh, running a 4-3-40, uh, he came into training camp, and we had this free agent defensive back that ran Maurice down. I'm like, uh, who, who clock was he on running a 4-3-40? Because he was just run down. And I remember Coach Pola and the coaches, they pulled me over, and they had a meeting. And uh, they had to go and look up the guy, that the DB that ran him down. And he was a free agent DB, but he was a track star in college out of Texas. So that, that allowed Maurice mm. to get a pass on that one. But um, seriously, though, he was just an amazing uh, rookie coming in. You know, made it easy for me to take him, up, take him under my wings. He was very attentive, you know, very smart, really, really smart, and wanted to learn and uh, very confident. You know, he knew his time was coming. It was just a matter of, you know, uh, um, competing with the old guy and getting me uh, uprooted, which he, you know, we, we worked together well, and he eventually uh, got me cut in Jacksonville. I'm kidding, Mojo. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, he, he's, just, uh, he's just an amazing person coming in and uh, just an awesome teammate. Fred, the three of us have been running down Maurice all week. We've been busting his chops a lot this week. He's been getting Mm -hmm. busted Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. So go the opposite way. Off the field, out to dinner, in the locker room, what are some good memories you have of MJD? Uh, Mojo, again, he's just an amazing teammate, amazing person. Uh, Out to dinner, just a jokester, always keeping things light and fun. You know, uh, got a lot of stories from his days, you know, back at UCLA. Um, he's always talking about how great he was, you know, at Madden. That, that right there is questionable. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. That, we'll get to that, maybe. <laughs> I don't know. But, um, you know, he's just, he's, he's an awesome teammate. People were kid messing around with him, you know, because of he was a little shorty in the locker room, but he held his own. He held it down. Um, but the guys on the defense, they, they, they really tried to break his spirit you know, because they wanted to see if he was really ready. But uh, he stood up to the task, man, and, um, you know, he made us all better. He made them better. He made me better, Uh, not only just as a player, but uh, as a person, you know, because I really felt like a big brother um, going forward. You know, I never had a a brother, you know, that age uh, right up under me, but uh, we did so much together. Uh, A lot of things that aren't made for TV, per se, But, uh, you know, he's just just was great to have around. And I enjoy being his teammate. Uh, I'm loving living for this energy between the two of you, this camaraderie. You two are like brothers. There's good vibes here. I want this sort of thing to be part of the Jags 22 season. You are a legend, a Jags absolute legend, Fred Taylor. What are your expectations or give some good juju to that squad that's under new leadership this year? Well, first and foremost, uh, bringing in Coach Peterson, he's had some pretty uh, great success in the NFL, having taken a year off. I'm pretty sure he was home, you know, calculating and masterminding some new stuff 
watching games and just getting more creative. So I'm intrigued and, and looking forward to what he's going to bring to the table along with Trevor Lawrence in his second year. Uh, Trevor Lawrence is, you know, has great potential, great talent. Uh, he can sling the ball. Man, you got to see him throw the ball. I just think it was really unfortunate for the situation that he landed in uh, under Coach Meyer and that whole, you know, uh, mess and drama that went on in his rookie year. And that can break a player. But uh, his confidence is so strong. And he got up and came back each and every week after each and every interception. And uh, he led that team. As a rookie, he really stood up to show he has great poise and leadership. So I'm expecting some good things from Trevor. Fred, as, as a, a very proud Jaguar and Gator, what was that Urban Meyer season like for you watching that happen? Um, you know, I, I met Coach Meyer once, actually, in all actuality, and it was at Coach Coughlin's uh, the J Fund Foundation event last spring. And, uh, mm. you know, we, we, we met and, uh, you know, we had some good talks. I was rooting for him. You know, initially, you know, I had hoped the team went after uh, Dabo Swaney to bring in, you know, the coach with, mm -hmm. along with the pick that they were going to see. That just made more sense for me if you were going to uh, nab a guy from the college rank, ranks. But, um, you know, Coach Meyer, he had some baggage coming in. Uh, I, I really rooted for him, especially being a Gator, along with, you know, the entire Gator Nation down in that region. You know, unfortunately, that didn't work out. But I'm, I'm still rooting for him in life. You know, not, not sure what he's going to do next, but I'm certainly rooting that, um, you know, he goes on to be an inspiration to, to people in general. Uh, it just didn't work out in Jacksonville. It's beautifully said by Fred Taylor. We're so grateful to be honored by you, or to, by your presence this morning, that you kept a secret from MJD. And MJD, I mean, I'll let you yeah. wrap it up with Fred, but who knows where you would have been without Fred Taylor leading the way. Listen, well, he would have been fine. He would uh, have been fine. <laughs> I'll tell you, the one thing Fred taught me that people don't know is you got to be slow to the hole and fast through it. My first couple mm -hmm. practices, I was like running into guys' backs. It was a it was a mess. And then Fred was like, hey, young fella, slow down a little bit. Um, I guess my question to you is who's next on the podcast, man? Who are we looking forward to next? And, and tell us a little bit more about it. For sure. Um, tempo, you remember that, man. <laughs> Hey, trust your eyes because you never fire yourself, right? Go out That's there and right. just, just go. Uh, the next guest, we just recently had Stephen A. Smith, uh, who was an amazing guest. And, um, you know, we have some some other guests up our sleeves. Uh, we have Candace Parker, but that'll be further down the line. We have Warren Sapp, Flex nice. Um Burris. So we're, we're slowly trying to integrate into basketball. Uh, while also not forgetting our roots, which is what we've all done. Great Ryan Channing, myself, which is football. So we got to embrace our football guys. Uh, Cheetah, he's expressed interest in wanting to come on the show. Uh, uh, the king, the last king, Derek Henry, he'll be a guest at some point also. So we're just making our round and building this thing out. Uh, but the pivot, uh, most of the time, Tuesdays on uh, YouTube. Also, we have pivot moments on Fridays, um, but it's, it's just good, man. It's, it's a great, honest show. We allow the guests an opportunity to just speak and a safe space to be themselves. MJD's happy. He's smiling. <laughs> Fred, we love you. That can't, I, I mean, I'm obsessed with Candace Parker. I love her. I'll be listening to that episode and it sounds like some really cool people stopping by. You are an inspiration. We love you and uh, happy birthday, MJD. Thank you. Happy Thank birthday, you Mojo. I love you, boss. I appreciate it. I love Thanks, you too, Fred. Fred. I'll see you later.